Okay, so actually, I probably should have read that dialogue, but oh. So, welcome to a Crisis on Infinite Super Robot Wars. We, re we return now. I am Count Zero. We have new dialogue stuff in the factory. Okay. Ugh, I've had it with that fallen princess. She's so annoying. You agree, don't you, Hilda? Uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm just gonna head back to my room. Hilda. Leave her be, would you? Zorla's death seemed to hit her the hardest. We'll most definitely avenge her. We'll do it for Hilda, too. Is this vengeance against the dragons? Or is this vengeance against the dragons? Or, it, or vengeance against Angie? Ah! What the heck? Where did you come from? Rosalie, it's one of the outsiders. This is the DC universe, and Batman has nothing to do with it. Please answer the question. D shut up! It's none of your business. It is my business. We are allies, after all. Allies? Don't make me laugh. I don't know if you can use meta or not, but I'm sure you still see us as lowly cap. I have no idea what the character's thinking, but I have no intention of mixing with you. What What she said. Humans that aren't human does not compute. Humans are more complicated than I thought. All right. So we have Chobum Armor on sale. That is actually fairly worth picking up, and it's low enough price that yeah, that that should still allow me to continue saving up cash for the uh, next big up update. Because next update due is 1,600, so I need like another thousand. 1,100 points for that. Alright, so... A bunch of cash! Need to upgrade some of these Gundams. Let's update, upgrade the dodge ability of Hathaway's Gundam suit. My guy's in good shape. Ah, oh, I still need to update the, uh... The Mark II, and... All these Gundams, I have to just have to update the mobility for so they don't take it to the face all the goddamn time. Um, so I can change robots, pilots. So, I don't have the Zeta back yet. Okay, they'll do the say that's in Z Gundam or Wave Rider form. Okay. So. We have our choice to make now. Wait a minute. Something wrong, princess? My uniform it was in my locker and now it's all chewed up. So what? Maybe some mice got to it? Mice, you say? Well, I'll just have to take care of them. That is some re has a really vicious look on her face. Ah! I think she just pulled a knife. You hear me? No way in hell I'm letting you get away with this. Man, um... Angie got hard really fast. Okay, okay, it's fine. We all hear you. Just put down the knife. Angie, cut it out. Like, that was like straight up like the, the, is Angie going to have to cut a bitch face? And then there's that saying, like, cut a bitch in terms of like, slang, like, usually to being phrasing. I mean, like, yeah, like, like she, she, she's gonna, yeah. 
like in the traditional context of I'm gonna have to cut uh, 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 of gonna cut you like nasty brutal knife fight stuff she got me really fast you seem a little on edge Angie like this is near as I can tell not much time has passed from the last mission and now no I don't it's these nets but I mean I think I skipped a line of dialogue You seem a little on edge, eh? A little on edge, Angie. No, I don't. It's just these gnats buzzing around is all. Wait a minute. Who are you calling a gnat? <laughs> What's that look off your face? I'm human, you hear me? Obviously, you're a Norma. Angie! <laughs> okay, so she's still kind of a, a stuck-up pain in the ass. All right, all right. Cool your jets already. I, I know. How about a quiz? Can you guess what this is? What, the keychain? Looks like a pretty ugly bear. It's a licky tea. Wait, you don't know what a licky tea is? Uh, I heard they are pretty popular back in the day. Here, it's all yours. Wait, what? Now we're matching. With you, me, and Hilda leading, I think we can make some pretty sweet formations. So we'll just... Stop it! Hey, the licky tea! I fight alone. Serious... Seriously, that was mean. Move. You pick up that keychain. Vivian said it was for you. Don't you don't go sticking your nose in. I will, thank you very much. You did it right in front of me. And before you say, oh, I'm so hard and tough because I've killed a couple dragons, I have killed like, oh, 20 something um, pilots of the Jovian Empire, of the Gamelins. Plus all the various super robots, minions from back in town, and the um, Mars and Mars successor forces. So, like, your robot's pretty hot stuff. So's mine. I've been doing this longer. I've been doing this longer than you have. Hmm. How about you two settle down? Nice deep breaths. Seriously though, and she could fill blue rock short hair. Technically, she, she can, and she is totally rocking short hair. Uh, anyway, we can have some tea. Bonding, a nice little group date with the first squadron. Move, I've got a run to do. Now wait a minute, you were supposed to scout with Rosalie and Chris. I'm going by myself, I don't want to get shot down by them. Fair assessment. That said, constantly trying to pick a fight with the other members of your squadron is going to get you fragged. Oh, Angie. Well, there it is. No wonder she ticks off everyone else. We need to do something about them. I mean, think of how Rosalie and the others must feel. They miss Captain Zola so much. It's gonna take a toll on the battlefield for sure. Angie gives the bucket. Jill might kicks the bucket. Jill might give me the villicus. Ugh, who does she think she is? She's the worst. I could I could have sworn I told you. If you're gonna do it, do it without her finding out. But Hilda, it's fine though. What's that supposed to mean? I have a feeling we won't be silly seeing her again. I cut the brake lines on her mobile suit. At least I think they're brake lines. Mobile suits don't have brakes like other vehicles, so I I I, I cut something. So we're gonna have another mission within a mission uh, cutscene. So we're splitting up. We came to Area D in order to find the Martian Successor's base. And because we couldn't find it, we're going to have to think of another move. Sounds about right. We still need a buffer against dragons, so I think we'll keep half the force here and send the other half to Japan. I'm not saying it's good or bad news, but we've got more firepower from the, from the regulars, including the Danon. We're the ones asking for help, but we don't have much of a choice. But the thing is, I understand. I'll give my word if not to reveal anything but Arsenal and the Dragons. You should really do reveal the Arsenal and the Dragons. Hey, there's an interdimensional rift here that is constantly spewing out dragons, and one base of pilots is the only is, is the only line between humanity and the entire world. 
standing between them and total destruction. So, like, if other people knew about this, maybe you'd be getting reinforcements, as opposed to the government of your messed up country sending their prisoners and Norma inmates and that sort of thing here to fight to the death to protect people who hate them and would really much like them to die. That's all I wanted to hear. Now how about you tell us who's staying behind? Members of Celestial Being and Myth will remain in Arsenal, due to in part to a request from Ms. Noriega. People are going to get antsy with a denouncing threat for a long time. The denouncing threat will come now could be our best chance. And just so happens Celestial Being is staying here. Hmm. Glad they picked up a few doubts out there. But right here, this could be a turning point for li for Libertus. I guess Libertus would be the normal liberation organization. Great Express doors? Express Corps, Tobia, Hathaway, and Judo will head to Japan in Nondisco B. So basically, um, the Full Metal Panic characters are staying in are, are staying in the women's in prison movie, exploitation movie. Um, and the Nondisco and Zeta Gundam characters are heading to Japan along with the Might Gain characters. So we're kind of staying with the super robot Might Gain story in Japan. Um, or if I stay here, it's, more, it's, it's a much more of a cross Angie story with the side of Gun Double O and Full Metal Panic. So I've thought about this a bunch, and my decision I'm kind of going with is this for which side I'm going to go with. Is I'm going, I'm gonna go with, with Rory and the Nondisco B. This is kind of for two reasons. First, I've seen Nondisco, I've seen Zeta Gundam, and I've seen most of the um, Universal Century Gundam series up to F91. I haven't seen F91, um, and I haven't read. Pathways Flash or Crossbone, because those manga have not been officially released in the US yet. They're, the fan subs are on my to are on my to read list, let's just say. Um or the, fans, the scanlations are on my to read list, let's just say. Um I'd like them to get officially translated first. So there is a degree of a situation here where we're sticking with the cross anti characters. I'm kind of going to be very much out of my depth with these characters. I mean, as it is, I've kind of haven't really been properly voice acting. Like, I'm kind of struggling when it comes to voice acting these uh, Gundam Double O and and Cross Angie characters because I don't necessarily know what I'm going in with the voice there. What I'm a person I can kind of get a, a cue from visual design for the personality, but I'm not entirely sure if I'm guessing right. So, but here I'm familiar with more of the cast, and while I haven't seen um, Mike Gain, I've seen so I've seen other um, Brave series anime. So there's that. So, got that going on, um, and then in the meantime, also. There's a side bit of, I do want the show to be somewhat viewable for, for uh, just anyone who wants to watch this. And I'm okay with some risque content. I'm okay, okay with violent content. The last series I game I streamed was Years of War, after all. And that's a series that involves cutting people and monsters with you know, chainsaws. But Cross Angie gets a little too rapey. And that makes things a little tricky for more general audiences. So, with that in mind, I am going to go back to Japan with the Nondisco and the Brave Express Corps. What about the Vang Ray? I'm not sure, to be honest. 
Bang Ray and Nine provide a good amount of, ta of our tactical support. Strategically speaking, Bang Ray should go along with Hook Bean and Gurren Goose, as it's given they have the most experience with her. Or to put this another way, in mechanical terms, your DLC characters will stick with your um, your player character. All right then. So here's the choice. I appreciate the fact that this choice is not made by your protagonist. Um, that your character is a is being commanded by part of a larger larger narrative. I say this because, like, if you look at like Mobile Suit Gundam, for example, while the Gundam is at the center of events and they play a crucial role in how the One Year War plays pans out. Uh, and the pilots of the Gundam have a defining role in how the One Year War pans out. They, Judo Ashta, Camille Badan, Amuro Ray, they at no point decide, are the ones who decide where the white base, where the um, Argama or Nahal Argama go. So, that's kind of narrowly consistent with the fact that your robot, while it has some super tendencies, is a real robot. Also, the other thing here is, like, from a thematic standpoint, um, or, or from a character in a roleplay standpoint, um, because I'm picking, I'm playing the female playable character. I mean, there's the fact that you're staying in the women's prison, and you have lots of, I mean, Cross Angie's kind of rapey. And the inmates here, well, I, I, long story short, in Cross Angie, there's a whole lot of sexual assault against women by other women going on. And I could see our protagonist not feeling comfortable with that. And while not wanting to see it go on, also not be comfortable staying kind of staying here because of that. There's, I mean, there's a side effect here also with the male protagonist, if he stays, there's a little bit of creepiness there, on the other hand. But it's also pretty good that he's, that they're not writing, going to write him in a romance with any of the, the people staying in the prison. I don't know, I may on my own time replay the Super Robot Wars the male route, but I'm doing this to take over, to to sort of succeed a uh, another let's play on the RPG Unit forums with first the mail route, so that would be on my own time. Anyway, we're going to Japan. All three of them are going to Japan. Much of that, your communication, your cooperation is much appreciated. Commander, what is it? It's the Villicus. It vanished in a scouting mission. Was it shot down? Not quite. No, from what we can tell, it was having some fuselage shovel before it fell. It seems it was operating alone. I want a search party organized ASAP. Guess the reserve's first job is to go out and find that girl. Willikus did choose Angie as his pilot. I guess I suppose I'll just have to grin and bear it. Can you at least manage to get the Villicus back? Okay, so the following robots have possibly been edited in this route. Uh, so here's our roster that we have going forward. We have Ruri in the um, Nondisco B, along with the Zeta Gundam, Double Zeta, Bicha in Hyakushiki, Ellie in the Mark II, Hathaway in, F in the Z Gundam, Toby and Crossbone, Maito and Mike Gain, along with the Tri Bomber and Dark Diver, Ryoko and Saburuta in their mobile suits, fit the term for their model, and then Velt, Latte, and Shitose. Interesting, we don't have the Dahel Argama, because the way this plans out in this Double Zeta is Bicha ends up commanding the Nahel Argama, and then Ellie ends up flying the Hyakushiki. And Bicha ends up flying a desk! Alright. Another narrative cutscene. 
if you save here with the branch. So I'm actually doing new sage data here. Alright, dialogue bit here. You didn't get left behind an arsenal, did you, Nine? Did you hear, Chris? Yeah, I did. It seemed Fallen Princess went and wrecked herself. Hell does an absolute genius. I know whose corner I'm in. Ah. Uh, hey, what the heck is your deal? Seriously, when I say something, then say it. Uh. Go ahead and tattle if you want to. I don't know how you this for you, but this is just another day for us. This is why I'm not sticking around with you. Worst case scenario? You're fine. Exactly. Catch you later. Nothing poisons the well like hatred. Humans are such tragic creatures. Oh, Night looks so sad. Sniper kid. Ooh. Maybe next mission I'll buy that. On the way back. Fortunately, we are unable to locate the Mars' successor's base in Area D. It's okay. Good work, Captain Burry. You too, Mr. Senkoji. Long time no see, Prospector. Our chairman wanted me to say give you his regards. Good mind to him. I always learned so much from Akatsuki. I take it that's the Prospector. He's a Nergal employee. Clever man added with the Nandisco Force. Maybe mysterious, but we at least know he's on our side. Then there's the matter of my request. That is not but overlooked. We are pick we picked up fighting personnel and are bringing them over. We'll discuss it in more detail as after they reach Japan. Thank you very much. And now we've reached Japan. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.